Hey guys, uh, so all you're going to need today is, let me double check, uh, just your math notebook, just your math notebook and a pencil, and we are ready to rock and roll here, friends. All right, so I know you guys have already watched a video on the input-output tables, um, also known as the function tables, and then one more thing that I want us to just go ahead and talk about today uh, would be some two-step rules, two-step rules. So wherever you've got your input output tables glued down in your math notebook if you'll literally just turn to the very next page all right so let's talk about what some two-step rules look like two-step rules and we've talked about this a little bit in some of the other videos you guys have done this week but a two-step rule is basically just the same thing as like a two-step word problem right so that means there's two different things you're having to do to one number in order to get the next number right okay so let's go ahead here and let's just do a few examples let's say our rule is our rule is add four and then uh, multiply two. So let's say, write this down with me. Let's say our rule is to add four and multiply by two. That means we're going to have two different things going on here. And let's just do a couple examples together. So let's say we start with the number uh, two. Let's just start with the number two. So you're gonna have to have a starting number in order to create a pattern. And here we're gonna start with the number two. And so if the rule is to add four and then multiply by two, what we'll do first, so after the number two here, what we'll do first to get the next number is add four. So we're gonna add four. And then to get the number after that, what we'll do is multiply by two see how that works and then to get the next number after that you start all over again we would add four and then to get the next number or term after that you would multiply by two so this is what i mean when i say a two-step rule i mean you're going to add four and then multiply by two and then add four multiply by two add four multiply by two so on and so forth so if we're starting with the number two to get the next number we're going to add four so two plus four is six and then to get the next number now we're going to multiply by two so six times two is 12 and then to get the next number we'll do 12 plus 4 which is 16 and then to get the next number we'll multiply by 2 and 16 times 2 is 32 okay so that's how you would solve uh, any kind of pattern that really has two steps to it okay let's look at a couple more examples uh, let's say this time our rule is to um, add 10 and then subtract two. So see, we can use all four operations. Add 10 and then subtract two. And let's say we wanna start with the number um, 10. Let's just start with the number 10 here. All right, so again, what this means is that in order for us to figure out the rest of the numbers, first we're gonna add 10. So to get the next number, we'll add 10. And then after that, to get the next number, we will subtract two. To get the number after that, we start all over again. We add 10, and then to get the number after that, we subtract two, and then to get the number after that, again, we add 10. So you can see your rule here. You're gonna add 10, subtract two, add 10, subtract two. So let's do that. So 10 plus 10 is 20. If I subtract two, I get 18. 18 plus 10 is 28. If I subtract two, I get 26. 26 plus 10 is 36, and then again, you would minus 2 and get 34, and then so on and so forth, okay? All right, and then guys, let's look at one more. And you shouldn't really have too many of these on like homework or EOGs or anything, but I do believe when I taught fourth grade a couple years ago, I feel like I saw a two-step pattern on there. And I just want to make sure we are covered. All right, so let's say our last one, our rule is to um, multiply by five and then add one. Multiply by five and then add one. So here, let's start with the number, uh, maybe let's start with six. Okay, so we'll start with six. All right, so to get the next number, we're going to multiply by five. And then to get the number after that, we would add one. 
Okay, and then to get the next number after that, we would multiply by five, and then to get the next number after that, start back over and add one. So you see your rule here, multiply by five, add one. Multiply by five, add one. All right, so we'll start with six times five, which is 30, and 30 plus one is 31. Now to get the next number, we have to do 31 times five, so we can just come over here off to the side of our paper and do that. One times five is five, five times three is 15. So that would be 155. That jumped rather quickly, didn't it? And then 155 plus one is 156, okay? All right, guys, so that's where I'm gonna leave you in this video. I know that was very quick, totally get that, and we can work with this a little bit more, but I just wanted you to at least go ahead now and on a Thursday, just be thinking, what do these two-step rules look like um, and stuff like that, okay? All right, guys, so this is where I leave you, and this is your last math video of the day, so we, we should be all caught up on math today, okay? All right, guys, I will see you this afternoon. Bye.